It's very easy with the passage of time to forget what mortal peril this country was in in the mid-70s with the, the Soviets riding high um, riding high in terms of the military balance between East and West riding high in Cuba, in Angola, in Ethiopia and uh, not long afterwards in Afghanistan and meanwhile their agents and their agents of influence in this country. And just in recent weeks, more has been coming out of the woodwork. I mean, all sorts of uh, people who uh, raised suspicion in our minds, we now know, such as Jack Jones, the General Secretary of the TUC, no less, were Soviet agents. Uh, were taking Soviet money uh, against the interests of this country and look forward to the day when Parliament would be replaced by a Soviet. Uh, that is how perilous our situation was and that was one of the key motivations of Lord Delight in creating the Freedom Association. And uh, for me, there were two highlights going back to those years. One was to be in the High Court and hear the judgment delivered by Lord Denny in the most ringing tones. He was already 85 years of age. Uh, and I forget precisely whether it was the, um, the Grunwick affair or the Postal Workers right? Be ye ever so mighty, the law of England is yet above you. It's a wonderful idea, but today, sadly, as we all know, it's the law of Brussels is yet above us. Um, but I prefer the Denny version, I have to say. Um, the other moment that I shall never forget was when our friend Boris arrived from Russia. Now, I'm not the present uh, Mayor of London, uh, but Boris Ponomarev, who was in charge of, I mean, in colloquial terms, of subverting uh, other countries and bringing them into the Soviet fold. And uh, uh, he was going to have a meeting with Len Murray in Transport House, and the Freedom Association rallied at Speaker's Corner. And I remember with your father, um, with um, certainly Norris, and I can't remember whether um, Ross was still alive or not, uh, and with my uh, ten-year-old son, Randall, we marched all the way down the centre of Oxford Street. Um, with the police escort and then we eventually arrived at Transport House and frankly we couldn't think we didn't have a plan of action what to do um, and so we sort of struck up with rule Britannia and there'll always be in England and it was wonderful to see Lynn Murray and Boris peering out of a first floor window to see what was going on. And we were, I suppose, two or three hundred strong, and we made quite a lot of noise. And uh, we made a, a bit of uh, a welcome for Comrade Bro Boris um, when he came here. But uh, I cannot emphasize too strongly just how important was the Freedom Association in those crucial years when British democracy was fighting for its life uh, and most people had no idea of just how close we came to the precipice. And I should like to pay tribute not just to uh, the old and bold of the um, Freedom Association here present, but a bubble on behalf of us all to Viscount de Lisle, who was our founder 
and was our inspiration. Uh, he was a wonderful, lovable, and incredibly courageous man whom we salute across the Gulf of Ages. Thank you for being with us.